Hey, I'm coming to you from Henry House Hill. Uh, this is on the First Manassas Battlefield, and this battle was fought July 21st, 1861. You're gonna have General Irvin McDowell's 35,000 Union soldiers against General PGT Beauregard and Joseph E. Johnson's 20,000 Confederates. Initially, this battle is a great, looks like it's gonna be a great Union success. Union troops are gonna be able to march down from Centerville. They're gonna cross Bull Run, and they're gonna push the Confederates back. There's a distant hill there called Matthews Hill. It's very hard to see here on the video, but there's a hill over here called Matthews Hill. Uh, Union troops are gonna push the Confederates off of that hill. There's gonna be heavy fighting there. But then they're gonna make a mistake. There's gonna be about around a two hour delay uh, where the Union troops are trying to reorganize and, and get things straight. That's gonna allow the Confederates time to set up a defensive point here on Henry House Hill. Now, Confederate, uh, Confederates are still coming in from the Shenandoah Valley by rail, so those reinforcements are on their way. But here on Henry House Hill is going to be a man by the name of Thomas Jonathan Jackson. There's also gonna be a man by the name of Bernard B. And they're gonna have, there's gonna be uh, an exchange, not really with each other, but B is going to utter some most famous words, probably some of the most famous words uh, in the Civil War. And it's gonna be about Jackson. Uh, Francis Barlow is also going to be here on Henry House Hill, and they're going to have this defensive line set up. Now, I'm going to turn here, and I apologize for the wind, not much I can do about that. Behind me is a line of artillery. You can kind of see it right there. Uh, these guns are going to be set up, and initially, when these guns are set up, the commander of the artillery tells General Jackson, I don't have any ammunition to support you. We need to retreat and get more ammo from the trains. Jackson says, I don't want you to retreat. I need you to stay here. He wants to create the illusion that he has this massive art, his massed artillery here. So when Union soldiers come up Henry House Hill, that's what they're going to see. They're not going to see it initially because there's a little bit, it's kind of hard to see on the video, but the hill, it, there's a crest right here. These cannon, if you're on the other side of that, you can't see them until you're up on the crest top of that hill. So Jackson wants that. He just wants the illusion. And when the other cannons come up, they can retreat. But, uh, and, and it works out very well. So as you can see in the distance, there's a statue. That is Stonewall Jackson's statue. There's another monument uh, kind of over here to the right. That monument is gonna be to General Bernard B. And as I said, there's gonna be some famous words uttered here. As Jackson is here, these men are being pushed back Henry Hill and B is going to see Jackson and his Virginia Brigade up here, and he is going to say, look yonder, men, there's Jackson standing like a stone wall. Let us determine to die here today, and we will conquer. Now, there's other versions that say he says rally around the Virginians. Um, based on what I've seen, I don't think that occurs. Uh, it seems like that's kind of more of the theatric part, more of the romanticizing of it. Um, because it doesn't fit the timeline of the battle. However, the, the phrase is still uttered, and this is where who we know as Stonewall Jackson becomes Stonewall Jackson. The federal forces are gonna come up. Jackson, Bartlow, and B are gonna be able to hold them. Unfortunately, General B is going to be killed uh, during this exchange. And because of their defense, that's gonna allow the reinforcements to get here. It doesn't end the battle right away. But when those reinforcements get here, that's going to allow the Confederates, who now have overwhelming numbers, to push the Union Army off of Henry House Hill. And what's going to basically be a rout at that point. Uh, federal troops, uh, after they're charged by Jackson and B and the reinforcements, are going to go back toward Matthews Hill. The cavalry is going to come in under Jeb Stewart. They're going to chase, chase Union soldiers, and uh, it's going to be a great skedaddle back to Washington.